So in another video, I explained that this is a place value chart. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what our daily routine with the place value chart is. This is a place value chart, and I'm gonna explain our daily routine. So this card says Sunday. This is the place value chart here. This is the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. So we don't usually do school on Sunday. So we're gonna move it to Monday. On the first Monday that we do our daily routine with the place value chart, we would put a one in the ones place, just that individual unit in the ones place. And that's all we would do on the first day. We would say that now we know we have one in the place value chart. So we would write one and then we would be done. Then on Tuesday, we would add another unit to the place value chart. And we would say that now we have two ones on our place value chart. And so we would change this and say now we have two on our place value chart. That's all we would do on Tuesday. Then it would be Wednesday. And on Wednesday, we would add another one to our place value chart. And then on Wednesday, we would say we have three ones in the place value chart. And if we have three ones, what number is that? Three ones is three. So we would know that we have three on our place value chart. And we'd be finished for Wednesday. And then it would be Thursday. On Thursday, we would take this one unit. We would put that one unit in the ones place on the place value chart. And we would say, okay, how many do we have on our place value chart? We have one, two, three, four. So on Thursday, we would write down that we have four units. Our value on our place value chart is four. Then we would be finished for Thursday. And it would be Friday. On Friday, we would add one unit to the place value chart. So on Friday, we add that one unit to the place value chart. And then on Friday, we're gonna count how many do we have on our place value chart? Well, we only have ones. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So on Friday, our place value chart has five. And then we're done for Friday. And then we don't usually do schoolwork on the weekend. So Saturday, nothing. Sunday, nothing. And then it's Monday again. On Monday, we would add one unit to the place value chart. And then on Monday, we would say, what value do we have on the place value chart? Well, on Monday, our value is one, two, three, four, five, six. On Monday, we have a value of six on our place value chart. That six might not be my best six ever. We have six on our place value chart. And that would be it for Monday. And so now it's Tuesday. And on Tuesday, we would have one unit. We would add one unit on Tuesday to our place value chart. And so we would say, what is the value of the base 10 blocks that are on our place value chart on Tuesday? And on Tuesday, the value of the units or the base 10 blocks on our place value chart is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on Tuesday, we have seven on our place value chart. And now it's Wednesday. 
And on Wednesday, we take this one unit. And where do we put this one unit? Do we put this one unit in the hundreds place? Do we put this one unit in the tens place? No, we put this one unit in the ones place. So what is the value of our base 10 blocks on our place value chart on Wednesday? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The value on Wednesday is eight. And then we're done with our place value chart until Thursday. On Thursday, we take this one unit. And where do we put this one unit on our place value chart? Do we put the one unit in the thousands place? No. Do we put the one unit in the hundreds place? No. Do we put the one unit in the tens place? No. Where do we put this one unit on Thursday? We put it in the ones place. So what is the value of the base 10 blocks on our place value chart on Thursday? The value on Thursday of our base 10 blocks is nine. Okay, now it's not Thursday anymore. We're all finished and it's Friday. On Friday, we need to put this one unit in our place value chart. But wait, this one unit won't fit in our place value chart today. You can never have more than nine in any place value. So what are we going to do with this one unit today? We can't put it in the ones place and it's a one, so it can't go in the tens. No, can't go in the hundreds. No, can't go in the thousands. No. So where are we going to put this one unit? Well, first, let's count how many units we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten units right now. But they can't go in the ones place because only nine can fit in the ones place. So what we have to do, we could glue them together to put them in a group of 10, but we don't wanna glue them because we wanna be able to reuse them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna exchange. These 10 ones have the same value as this group of 10. This 10 long has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks glued together. And these are ten individual units. So they have the same value. So we're going to exchange. We're going to take these ten away and replace it with this one ten long or this one group of ten. So now on Friday we have exchanged our ten ones for one group of tens and we put that one 10 long in the tens place. And those 10 ones are gone because we exchanged them. That's how we got this 10. So there's zero in the ones place. So if we have a place value chart with ones over here, tens in the middle, hundreds over here, right now you can see that we have zero things in the ones place. And you can see that we have one group of 10 in the tens place. Well, if we have one group of 10 and zero ones, what number does that make? That makes the number 10. And this is 10. One group of 10 and zero ones makes the number 10. So now on Friday, we have 10 in our place value chart. The value of what we have here is 10, and we write that with one 10 
and zero ones to get the number 10. And then we don't usually do school on Saturday. Some people do. We don't usually do school on Sunday. Some people do. But on Monday, we're going to add another unit. And do we put this unit in the thousands place? Hundreds place? Tens place? Ones place? Yes, we put this unit, this individual unit, in the ones place. And so when we have a number like this, we can look and we can say, well, we have one unit in the ones place and we have one group of 10 in the tens place. And if you have one unit in the ones place and one group of 10 in the tens place, what number does that make? That makes the number 11 because this is 10 and putting one more with it makes 11. So on Monday, we have the value of 11 shown by our base 10 blocks on our place value chart. And then we go to Tuesday. And on Tuesday, we add another unit. And when we add that other unit, we say what is the value of the base 10 blocks that we have on our place value chart? Well, we have one, two units, and we have one group of 10. If we have one group of 10 and two units, that makes the number 12, because this group of 10 is 10, and when we count on, we say 11, 12. So the value of our base 10 blocks is 12. And each day we continue adding another unit. So on Wednesday, we add a unit. And on Thursday, we add this one to the ones place. And on Friday, we add a one to the ones place. And on Saturday, we don't usually do school. Some people do on Sunday, but on Monday, we add a unit. And on Tuesday, we add a unit. And on Wednesday, we add that individual one base 10 block to the ones place. And on Thursday, we add one to the ones place. And on Friday, we add one, oh no, there's not room for this one in the ones place because you can only fit nine in the ones place at once. So now we would count, we would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, we have 10 units. Well, 10 can't go in the ones place. So now we will need to exchange these 10 units for a 10 long. We have 10 units, that's the same as this 10 long. They have the same value. So instead of gluing these yellow ones together to make a group, we can just exchange them for this 10 long. And then a 10 long can't go in the ones place. The 10 long has to go in the tens place. And now we can look at what the value of our base 10 blocks are. We look in our ones place and we have zero ones in the ones place. We look in our tens place and we have two groups of 10 in our tens place. So that means we have the value of 20 units or 20 base 10 blocks on our place value chart because we have two groups of 10 and zero ones. And that is how we use our place value chart to do our daily routine to continue building our 
knowledge of place value.